the, I guess, just thoughts on getting the sweep, and I know you just that steady stream of runs obviously helped out, and it turned out to be a tight game. Yeah, I mean, they're a very good offensive team. I mean, they put up runs even in the games that they hadn't uh, won, and our pitching staff just had done a really good job until the last two innings, and um, of course, it's tough to hold down a good offensive team for 27 innings, and we did a pretty good job of it. And, I thought uh, Jake had a solid start. I thought Danny came in and got us out of a jam with one pitch and then went two innings after that. I thought Richie was really good for an inning, especially after we make an error to lead off the inning. Um, Jade wasn't sharp, but, you know, AG came in and, yeah, he gave up a two-run homer, but we were up four runs. So I thought it was a huge insurance, huge insurance run for Carter to uh, get Shaq in with two outs, of course. What are you seeing from Wilcoxon at the plate? I know he's, I mean, he's been swinging it well, but he's really kind of heating up here last Yeah, time. I mean, you know, I didn't think, uh, I thought he was passive yesterday a little bit, so I had a little conversation with him. But the reason I pinch hit Clonch for him was just because he was passive the at-bat before and to be aggressive, that was the message. And he was much more aggressive today and uh, was able to get some swings off. And it's always good to see him hit an opposite field home run because that means he's locked in. We were just talking with Carter about the hitting streak. It's not something he's thinking about, but uh, what do you think of his at bat there in the eighth to get that insurance on it? Uh, I mean, it was awesome. I mean, but I think it was his second at bat. He almost killed the third baseman, you know, line drive right at him. So, uh, you know, he can't worry about hits. He's just got to worry about keep continue to square the baseball up. And I know that he's not worried about it. That's something for the fans and the media to worry about. Carter's just worried about winning baseball games, which is awesome. This makes it seven straight wins for you guys. What has been the theme, if you could sum it up in one word and why, over that stream? Um, we've been able to play a little bit better than the opposing team. Um, I don't think we've played our best baseball yet. I think that will come at the end of the season. Our goal is to play our best brand of baseball at the end. Um, I, I didn't think we were very sharp today. I mean, you know, I love J.W., but we don't slide at home plate. That's another run. Uh, you know, I thought uh, defensive at times we weren't as sharp as we could be, although Shaq keeping the ball in, um, right before Jake Hunter came out of the game, he dives and the guy was at second base. So if he doesn't stop the ball, the guy from second scores. But because he kept it in, the guy's at third base, and then Danny comes in and gets the ground ball, and we're out of the inning without giving up a run, which at the time you don't think is a big play. But then when you look up the score, and we only win by two runs, it's a huge play. Um, you guys had the leadoff guy on, I think, seven of the eight innings. Um, how does that just change the complexity of the inning when you can do that? Well, I just, I mean, you see us play. I mean, we can do a lot of different things, bunt, hit and run, steal bases, and just puts a lot of pressure on the opposing team when we get that leadoff guy on. What does Jake maybe need to do just to go deeper into some games as he keeps going? I mean, his fastball command's got to be better. I mean, that's the thing that is kind of a head scratcher because he's never really had issues with fastball command. It was more his all speed, um, and now his all speed is better, but now our fastball command is not as sharp as um, we want it to be. But Jake works hard. It's not because of, of lack of work or um, you know his intent, because he gets after it every week like all of our guys do. Non-baseball question for you, John Gordon, obviously here today and uh, speaking with the team later today. What do you hope your guys can get out of talking with them in person? Well, it's a dream come true for me personally. I mean, 10 years ago, I looked up the cost to get John Gordon in a town, and I'm like, well, we'll never get him here. And thankful for LRB to reach out to his people and tell the Parker Bird story and the fact that, you know, East Carolina baseball's never played in the College World Series. And, um, you know, when LRB came to me in the fall and presented, I'm like, Man, that's awesome. I'm so excited. I woke up this morning and I had to pinch myself because I'm like, I'm actually going to get a chance to meet John Gordon, and then he gets to speak to our team. So super fired up for our guys. All right, thank, thank you. you.